Oh. Adam Rowan Talent and Jeffrey Bradley. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I just want to say off the top, thank you guys for coming. I, I don't necessarily feel qualified to get here talking about writing. I, Jeffrey certainly is. Yeah. Um, but um, I'm just I'm just making the switch into the writing life. And I have a script with an interesting producer, and we're talking to some interesting directors, and it may come together. We'll see. You never know. But um, I'm on the cusp of turning into a full-time writer and being living a professional writing life. So I feel like I'll have at least that kind of perspective. But Jeffrey's been writing for a long time and has launched a billion-dollar brand. So. I feel honored to be sitting next to him. And thank you. Um, <laughs> but you know, I think Adam is qualified because um, and this isn't going to be like a stroke session. But he's a very, very talented writer and um, has just really started pursuing it now. And the stuff that really interests him at this po this point are, are true life stories. And so that's what they wanted us to come and speak about is the kind of the difference between writing uh, fiction and nonfiction. And you know, the simple truth is there's really not a difference. Um, because every screenplay has to have the same key elements. You know, you want to have a good concept. You want to have, you know, you have to have the correct structure, um, and you have to have great characters and dialogue. And so, it, no matter what, if you're writing something that's based on a true story or, or fiction, you still need those key elements. Um, and I think that's a lot of the challenge that people have is it, it, they try to be too faithful if they're writing a true story um, to to life events. And a lot of times, you know, life events don't play out like a. a a three-act structure in a film, so I think that there's a lot of um, um, stuff that people have to learn that way. And um, what I like to do, and I told him this, because he, he was like, we should get together and do a PowerPoint and all this stuff, and what I like to do, it, it, which is a very studious good thing to do, but what I, what I prefer to do is just to uh, let us talk a little bit, but really ask you, know, you all if you have any questions, and I think that that way we can actually, you can get what you want out of this, um, and kind of, you know, get learn what you can from our experiences, which are vastly different in the, in the film industry. Um, the one soapbox thing I'll say, and I'm, I'm working with some of my other friends who are aspiring writers and come from theater or actors who want to be writers, is you have to read. If you want to be a writer, you have to read. You have to force yourself to read books, plays, magazines, and um, a lot of us don't. I mean, I, I know for me it's a conscious choice to do that. I, I, you, know, you have to study screenplays, you know, try to read two or three screenplays a, a week if you can. Um, Facebook me, I'll, there's a great repository of scripts online, there's a file sharing website that has tons of scripts, and a lot of times I see with my friends who don't get better as writers, is they're just not studying great movies, not studying the way the clockwork and the, sort of like the, the, the fine-tuning mechanisms of scripts, how they work. And once you get honed in, there's one book, Blake Snyder's Save the Cat, which kind of, I, I, you know, he just died prematurely. But Save the Cat really changed my life and the way I approach writing. It's not going to tell you stuff that you don't already know if you've studied screenwriting at all, but it's just a great book to start out on. So yeah. that's my little soapbox about learning how to, learning how to study screenplays and, and movies. Right, I made fun of him for the PowerPoint, but I actually typed up the little Blake Snyder outline, kind of the format for writing a script because like Adam said, it didn't really tell me anything that I hadn't learned already from reading and studying a lot, but it said it in a way that was really fresh for me. Um, so I'll, I'll be passing these out and there'll be a quiz after, after we're done. No quiz. But, um, and, um, <laughs> and, and just to get on his soapbox for one second, I think reading scripts is very important, but I think, it, I think you have to get to a point where you can take constructive criticism.